In this video, we're going to look at customization in Microsoft Word, and we're going to play around with a few features that allow us to change the way that either Microsoft Word functions or looks to satisfy a few different purposes. Now, with all the Microsoft products in Microsoft Office, the place to go to customize is File and Options. And once you get here, you get a series of areas, okay, that you can use or customize the actual pro uh, program itself. So let's take a look at a few features. So the first one we might look at is print options. So we're going to go into display and in display we've got printing options and basically they outline what happens when we print. So it might say print drawings in Word. Okay, obviously I do want them to print, but we also have things like background colors and images coming up through printing and I might actually want that on. Okay, so I just click there and if there are any background colors I've applied to the image, uh, to the actual document, okay, they will get printed too, as well as images. Okay, document properties relates to things about the actual properties of the document itself. Do I want that to print off? Well, probably not. Okay, and a whole bunch of other things that I can have that actually come out when I print off a paper document. Another area we'll look at is autocorrect and checking the document. And so this is known as proofing. Okay, and so basically this looks for my spelling and grammar mistakes. So, for example, I can say if a word is uppercase, and traditionally words wouldn't be uppercase unless I'm trying to emphasize them, it, they're going to be ignored. Okay, I don't want them to be seen as an error in my spelling. Okay, uh, words that contain numbers will also be ignored. I might be putting in people's login details because I'm creating some sort of database record, okay, of what everyone's logins are in a Word document, so I'll ignore numbers as well. So these will all be either ignored or I can make it that they're not ignored if they're unhighlighted. Okay, but basically all relating to autocorrect as well, I can go into my autocorrect options. Okay, and here we can see things that will automatically be changed if they happen in Microsoft Word during my document. Okay, and then we can also follow, look at the grammar as well. Okay, and the grammar style and how that works. Okay, another area of importance is saving. And one thing we want to know with saving is firstly, do we have auto save on? And auto save is extremely important because sometimes we forget to save and we can lose a lot of work. So we can say save and auto recover within every 10 minutes. I could just click on these and make it that it does it every five minutes. Okay, just to be safe. Okay, and also other saving options too. And where the actual locate location is for when I save a document, where the default location is. Okay, and then the final thing we'll look at here is language. Okay, and as you can see, my language is set to Australian, but I can also add other languages too. So I might go down here and I might add in the language of Greek. Okay, so I'll put that in and I click on add and now Greek is also established as a language understood by the program. Now I'd also have to make sure I have the Greek uh, keyboard layout too, so I can actually type in Greek characters because it has completely different characters, okay, to English Australian. So I might need to get a keyboard overlay or something like that. And then the final thing we'll look at is under general, and this one might relate to, once again, accessibility options and if someone is colorblind. So if I go down to office theme, I can actually change the theme and I might make it dark gray. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to go OK. And as you can see, okay, and I need to restart Office for my other changes to go into effect, okay, but as you can see, my entire interface has now changed. Okay, and this might be a bit easier and readable for someone who can't really process the different colors on screen of the traditional um, Microsoft Word layout. So we've got a grayscale here that might be easier to look at and more relaxing on the eyes too. So I hope this video has given you a simple introduction into the way that Microsoft Word can be customized in order to satisfy user needs.